Hey guys, so I am very very sorry for being absent for the past one or two months. Um, I have had a very busy schedule. First of all, I'm in a play. We're doing Sleepy Hollow at my school. I am Ichabod Crane, therefore I have a lot of lines to learn and I have been dedicating most of my time to that. Also, I got in a car wreck. I don't know why, but I guess they decided to do brake checks or something and I slammed on my brakes and the girl behind me couldn't, they didn't work. So she hit me and it ended up having four cars, four cars total in this wreck, which was really crappy. And I actually lost my car because it was $10,000 worth of damage and the insurance decided not to repair it. They're going to replace it. None of that matters. I am back for you guys, bringing you some great Halloween videos. I wanted to do 31 days of Halloween, however that did not work. So I'm just going to do some Halloween videos as often as possible. So I decided to start off with a just look inspired by just Halloween in general. It's great for those of you guys who don't like to dress up but wanted to do something very festive for Halloween. Before we start this video, I am just want to point out, I don't know why, my eye has been watering the whole entire time. So if you see this popping up, I keep trying to fix it, but it keeps messing up. That's enough rambling for me. Let's get into the video. So I've already applied a base of foundation to my face. If you want to see how I do this, you can click this video right here. Later on in the video, I did do some contouring and highlighting. However, my camera died while I was filming that, so I didn't get to show you. I'm using a white eyeshadow base to prime my lids. This will not only keep my shadows on all night, but it will also make the colors more pigmented. I'm using the BH Cosmetics 120 color palette for my eyeshadows. It has some freaking amazingly pigmented eyeshadows, which is what you need for this look. I'm going in the inner corner of my eye with a bright yellow shadow. I'm packing the color on instead of swiping it to add to the intensity of the shadow. You can also wet your brush and then apply the eyeshadow if you need more intensity. So now I am packing on a bright pumpkin orangey shade in the center of my lids. The last color you need to pack on is a bright blood red shadow on the outer third of the eye. Don't forget to put those colors on your lower lash line as well. I'm going in with a fluffy brush and slowly blending the shadows going from lightest to darkest. Make sure you take your time with this part because you don't want to be able to tell where the colors end and where they start. I'm blending the red shadow up into my brow to make it a little bit extra dramatic. I'm taking a creamy black eyeliner pencil and lining my waterline and tightline with it. Then I'm using a liquid liner to create a very dramatic winged liner. Now this look is definitely not complete without some mascara and some very wispy falsies. I'm filling my brows using a brow powder. I wanted a very natural brow to go with this super dramatic eye look. To finish this look off, I'm just using a bright red liquid lipstick. Thanks again for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.